I don't know about you, but I like popcorn. Now, I like popcorn with a lot of salt on it, and my husband likes popcorn with a lot of butter on it and some salt. But, you know, I see a lot of people making popcorn in their Instant Pot, and I guess that's possible. But for me, I have to pack that away so it's not always uh, on the counter. But you know what is? My microwave. So, I'm going to show you how to make two different microwave popcorns. Really, really easy, and both taste great. Come on. I know when you heard microwave popcorn, you thought of one of these packets, right? A lot of people use these. You just take that cellophane off, put it in the microwave. The kids can just push the popcorn button, and voila, they have popcorn at their fingertips. But some people say there are ingredients in here that aren't that great for you. And you know what? You don't need those ingredients. You can make popcorn in your microwave with just a paper bag or even a bowl and a plate. Come along, I'll show you how. Now, I did want to talk about popcorn a little. It is a economical snack, um, especially if you just buy regular popcorn. I, on the other hand, um, am buying non-GMO popcorn, so it is a bit more expensive. This is the Amish variety, but you know what? I feel a lot better about my grandkids eating it than the regular popcorn that is GMO. It's up to you. You save a lot of money by not getting the GMO variety. So tonight my husband and I are going to watch an episode of True Detective and we need to have our popcorn. So here's a regular paper bag lunch sack and I'm going to try just a heaping quarter cup of popcorn kernels. And you just put them in the bag. Pretty easy. And you just turn this over slightly. Just like that. Okay. You have it like a lunch sack. Now we're going to pop it in the oven. The microwave oven. And I'm just going to hit it for three minutes. I think it'll be much less than three minutes. But what we have to do is kind of listen to the popping kernels. Um, you could use your popcorn setting too. It's entirely up to you what you'd like to do. So I'll be back when I hear pop, 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 pop. Okay, I heard a couple little curdles. There it goes. Let's see if we can get closer to the microwave. So you can hear it now. We have a pretty good pop going. It's been uh, about a minute and a half. And what we're doing is listening, and when there gets to be more and more time in between the kernels, it's probably time to stop. Otherwise, we might end up with burnt popcorn. Well, it's slowing down, but still popping a bit. Still getting some here. It's been two minutes now. You also want to do the smell test. If it smells like something's burning, it's time to quit. Okay, I'm going to stop because I kind of smell something. I could be wrong. We'll see how many kernels I have in the bag that didn't pop. So I got a bowl here and here's our bag. And you want to be careful because, of course, it's hot. Oh, it just steamed up the camera. Yeah, there we go. So let's see how we did. Okay. Wow, I'd say that's pretty good, don't you? In fact, I don't see any. Oh, here's some kernels at the very bottom. Just a little that didn't pop. Most of it did. Let's take a taste test. Hmm. Tastes good, but it needs salt. Now, my husband would say it needs butter. So let me show you how we make it in the microwave when he wants buttered popcorn. So for this method, we're just using a glass bowl. And I'm just putting a plate on top. Now let's put some popcorn in it and put it in the microwave. 
So now we're going to do the same as before. Three minutes. Now we're at the time approximately when the bag started popping. This has not started popping yet. Okay, we're getting our first pops. It took longer than this method. I'd say it took about uh, almost three minutes for it to start popping. Much slower popping here. Okay, I'm calling it. So there you can see the popped popcorn. There are some kernels on the bottom. I probably could have waited just a little longer. Now I've combined the other popcorn I made in the bag method. I'm just going to put the butter on it. And then just mix it up. Yep, I'm using my hands, but you know what? Guess who's going to be eating it? Just my husband and I. And now, I love a lot of salt. <laughs> Can you tell? So here's the popcorn for our TV night. It's got enough butter on for my husband. Mm -hmm. Enough salt for me. Mm. You know, it's a tasty snack. and You don't have to wait until you go to the movie theater to have it. Making it in a bowl, yeah, that was fine, and it was nice to see the uh, kernels actually pop. Although I would think it took at least twice as long to do it this way as in a paper bag. But either way works, and you end up with great pop and fun. This is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, and thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you.